What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So we're gonna be talking about some of the three biggest mistakes when it comes to concealed carry. These are the three biggest mistakes that I see all the time. So I'm gonna come out here, I got about 15 minutes to fish, so I'm gonna do a little bit of fishing, probably won't catch anything, we never know. And we're gonna talk about that, so let's get into it. All right, so here I am here with a wacky rig set up. So this is a strike can two bait. So it's a nice little wacky rig. Just set it up just like that with a little split shut on it. So I can let it sink. Now we'll see if I catch anything. But anyway, well, I'm gonna to talk to you guys really quick about the three most common mistakes that I see when it comes to concealed carry. Now keep in mind, I've been concealed, concealed carrying a firearm for about 12 years now. I've been doing it for about 12 years now. And I carry daily from the moment I wake up and get dressed to the time I go to bed, I carry daily. I usually have my six hour M11A1 and I carry it inside the waistband pancake holster. Now, the most first most common mistake that I see all the time is that people, um, when they think carrying a firearm, the first thing that they think of is that they are going to put it on an outside the waistband holster. This is not a good idea, especially if you specifically want to be carrying a concealed firearm. Um, and outside the waistband holster cannot be concealed. I'm sorry guys, it just cannot be concealed. Um, there's some holsters that work pretty well that help, they, they help out all right. There's a couple holsters that work pretty well when it comes to concealment. But uh, what happens is when you're on there, it punches out and it's usually the length of the actual holster itself. So where it sits, where it goes down low. Um, what happens is whatever shirt you're wearing, usually comes up over it and it usually exposes the actual muzzle of the firearm or the slide of the firearm. So it is definitely not the best technique to carry if you want to specifically carry concealed. Like I said, concealed carry means no one can see it. Simply throwing a t-shirt over and outside the waistband holster or a button-up shirt doesn't necessarily mean that it will be fully concealed. So that is the very first problem when it comes to that. That's the very first mistake that I see people make when it comes to concealed carry. Now, the second mistake that people make when they go with concealed carry is they do not have a good belt and holster combination, all right? They don't have a good belt and a good holster combination. So, basically what that means, guys, is if you put all this money into a gun, you need to go out and get yourself a belt and a holster that can support the weight of the firearm. So, you need to get yourself some sort of carry belt, whether it's a reinforced double web belt, whether it's reinforced when it comes to that. Um, some belts have core in it, uh, like has like some sort of core, whether it's a, uh, a, some could be like a polymer core, some have steel core, some have like Kevlar cores and stuff like that. So it has a lining on the inside which reinforces the belt, allowing it to hold up the weight of the firearm and the holster. So you have a good belt on and you, uh, you need to have a belt if you're carrying a gun. You can't just throw a belt, a, a gun on your pants and your pants will start coming down. You need to have a good belt and a good holster combination. And I recommend if you want to carry it on your side, do a inside the waistband holster. All right, that's right, inside the waistband holster. That is how you conceal it if you want to carry it on your waist. Now, that was the second mistake. You don't have a good belt and you don't have a good holster. Now, the third mistake, and this is by far can be the absolute worst mistake. All right, if you make mistakes, this is the one that you do not want to make. All right, this is a mistake that you do not want to make. That is, you have to know your local, state, and federal laws when it comes to carrying a firearm. Um, I don't know how many times, how many countless times, I've been at the post office. All right, I've been at the post office, and I see a dude coming in with a outside the waistband holster with a shirt kind of covering it, and you could clearly see the imprint of his gun at the post office. Now, a post office is a federal building, and there are federal laws against that, so if you carry that inside a federal building and you get arrested guess what you have officially become a, fel a felon and you will go to jail for a while all right so do not do that i was at dmv um this was a dmv i was at work i was registering a uh, trailer for our work i was over at dmv just sitting there doing my thing getting paid to be there which was kind of nice because dmv always sucks as usual i'm over there and i see a dude sitting in the back of the vmv just out there, just sitting in the back of the DMV, just kind of doing his thing. But the thing is, is he's wearing kind of a tighter button-up shirt, and this guy was kind of like me, wasn't exactly, you know, a little bit larger than me around the waist, we'll just say that. But 
basically he was carrying wearing a tight button-up shirt and he had what looked like exactly to be a 1791 gun leather outside the waistband holster and i know because i had the holster and man that's a nice holster it is a nice outside the waistband holster he had that on all right and he had a tight button-up shirt completely covering it from what he saw until he decided to stand up and then one you could see the bottom of the pistol this is in the dmv another federal building it's in the dmv you can see the bottom of the pistol for for the first part and second you could actually see the clear imprint of the pistol because he was carrying it in an outside the waistband holster right if you're going to carry concealed carry it concealed don't expose it which means no it's out, outside the waistband holsters no nothing like that if you're going to conceal it conceal it all right make it so no one else can see it so those are the three most common problems that I see come across when people are carrying a firearm or when they're concealed carrying. Those are the three most common mistakes that I see people making with concealed carry. Now there's a bunch of other mistakes that I could go over, but these are the three big ones, the big three. So once again, we'll go over those real quick. First one, all right, if you're carrying a gun, right, you need, it, it is not supposed to be in an outside the waistband holster, all right, with a shirt covering over it. If you want to conceal it, conceal it. Put it inside the waistband holster if you want to carry it on your hip. Inside the waistband holster, all right? And with a shirt over it, t-shirt, button-up shirt, doesn't matter. That is how you conceal a gun that is on your hip or appendix or a small of back. You need to have it inside the waistband holster, all right? Step number two, the other big one is, once again, is have a good holster and belt. You have to have the combination, whether you want to get a Kydex, leather, I don't care. You need a good a good holster and a good belt, one that can hold up the weight of the firearm so it doesn't pull down your pants for one part. You don't want it pulling down your pants. And second, you want it to hold up well. So when you have the extra weight on it, some people like having the extra mag pouch on their belt, I usually carry one in my pocket. Um, when you're on that, it's going to be a lot more comfortable during the day when it comes to carrying it. A heck of a lot more comfortable during the day. So have a good belt and a good holster. All right. And the third and the most important one, by far the most important one, if you ignore the first two, do not ignore this one at all whatsoever. Know your, all of your state and federal laws when it, comes, when it comes to concealed carry. All right. Or when it comes to carrying a firearm in general. You cannot carry a firearm in our federal building, which includes post offices, DMVs. If it is a federal building, guess what? You are not authorized to carry a firearm as a civilian. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to make a comment below. So I doubt I'll be catching anything here, and i got to start heading in here so I can head home. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me. Remember, guys, it is our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.